How's it going people of the YouTube? My name is Adam and welcome to A Duda Reviews, an entertainment channel for entertainment purposes. Today I'm wearing my flannel and I'm also wearing my Nirvana t-shirt. What's the reason for this you may ask? Well, today I'm going to be doing a top 20 favourite Nirvana songs list. So without further ado, let's get into it. Number 20, Opinion. First officially released in 2004 on the With The Lights Out box set and performed live acoustically on a local Olympia radio station. This song is rough, but nonetheless catchy in a Beatles-esque manner. Number 19, Something In The Way. Somber and melancholy as fuck, but this simple yet haunting tune is a nevermind standout. Number 18, Spank Through. Released on the 1996 album from the muddy banks of the wish car, this has a groovy little rock and roll riff which sees Kurt attempt some Elvis type vocals. The song itself is apparently about masturbation. Number 17, Ain't It A Shame. This cover of blues artist Lead Belly's song starts off as an upbeat country blues type song and ends with Kurt wailing out the lyrics like a banshee. Number 16, Lake of Fire from the MTV Unplugged album. This Meat Puppets cover brings out the country in the band, with Kurt's vocals producing a southern twang. Number 15, Tourette's, from the album In Utero. Fast paced, angry and with sledgehammer drumming from Dave Grohl, this song makes me want to smash things and then burn them. Kurt's buzzsaw vocals really make this track a punk rock sonic attack. Number 14, Scentless Apprentice, also from the In Utero album. The catchy groove of Dave Grohl's drums, along with the one of my favourite lyrics, You Can't Fire Me Cause I Quit, make this a cathartic anthem. Number 13, Son of a Gun, from the album Incesticide. This bouncy, happy Vaseline's cover is a great romantic rock and roll song for the ages. Number 12, Sliver. This song's lyrics about a young boy wanting to go home to his mother really paint a picture, along with its groovy bass line. It's a great song. Number 11, Lounge Act. A pretty underrated song from the Nevermind album, this is a very poppy, Beatles-esque song with another great bass line from Chris Novoselic. Number 10, Territorial Pissings. Probably the punkiest song on Nevermind. Dave Grohl's break net drumming and Kurt's howls make this song one of my go-tos from the album. Number 9, Lithium. An anthemic tune with sing-along lyrics. The lyrics are probably the standout for this song, although the chorus is basically the word yeah said over and over again. Still great though. Number eight, Breed. Another Dave Grohl standout drum track with a great guitar hook and chorus. Number seven, In Bloom. I always play this song around springtime to get me in the springtime vibe. It's got groovy bass line and one of my favorite music videos to go along with it. It's also got another catchy chorus. Number six, Downer from the album Bleach. This song is full of snark and fuck you attitude. The bleak lyrics really flow well with this song and drag you along for the apocalyptic ride. Number five, Mr. Mustache. Fantastic twisty guitar riff to dance about to. Number four, Scoff. With its My Sharona inspired drum beat, played by then drummer Chad Channing, and its relatable chorus chant of Gimme Back My Alcohol, this is a bleach favourite for me. Number three, Negative Creep. Great opening guitar riff and Kurt doing an almost Lemmy from Motehead vocal. This is Nirvana at their more metal. Number two, Love Buzz. Nirvana's first single. A cover of Dutch band Shocking Blue. The opening Egyptian-esque guitar riff and Kurt's howling Can You Feel My Love Buzz make for a bizarre angry pop song. Number one, Where Did You Sleep Last Night? This Lead Belly cover has gone down in history for its memorable performance, performed for MTV Unplugged as the night's final song. The addition of the cello adds a real mournful aspect to the song. Kurt's vocals are shrill and agonized as he sings the final chorus with real force. It's an excellent song. Obviously I can't speak about Nirvana without mentioning Smells Like Teen Spirit. Now a classic rock anthem with its accompanying video now standing at a billion views, this is a popular song for a reason. Well that's it, 20 favourite Nirvana songs all done and dusted. I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did leave a thumbs up and possibly subscribe and I will be your friend forever. And on that note, 
I love you, goodbye.